Let us Let rejoice, rejoice and be glad, and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself, we are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household <clears throat> will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his home. He took them in at the hour, at that hour of the night, and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. A responsorial song. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right, Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right, your right hand saves me, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all the truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father. And you will see, you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this gospel, Christ is, of course, uh, promising his disciples again that he will send the advocate. And the advocate, of course, he's speaking of the Holy Spirit. And as the choir knows, our human efforts, our physical form, does not allow us. We cannot earn through our efforts this grace of the Holy Spirit. The only way we get the Holy Spirit is by simply asking. It's like bread put on a table there for us to take. I read a reflection by Bishop Barron, and he noted, he said it so succinctly that, um, if I may quote him at least partially, talking about this, he says, that's why for the past 2,000 years, the church has begged for this power from on high. And Bishop Barron advises to, to ask, of course, to never stop asking, to never stop begging for this wonderful grace. Never stop asking for the Holy Spirit. And of course, at every Mass and every liturgy that we celebrate, we ask for the Holy Spirit. The bishop also noted that we pray for this, and this, the, the the basic prayer that, that we, the church, offers is all about asking for the Holy Spirit. And in every Hail Mary that we say, aren't we really, through Mary, asking also for the same thing? It's something that we have to do continuously. Never forget. Christ was letting his disciples know in this gospel that the Holy Spirit would convince the Jewish nation of their sin. They would be convicted. And when this mention of the ruler of the world has been condemned, of course he's perhaps suggesting Caesar, but also Satan. So be convinced of our salvation that it's possible through that simple asking. And as Bishop Barron suggested to us, never stop asking, never stop begging for that. Our beloved Saint Mother Teresa said it also. Perhaps she phrased it a little differently. But she was saying the same thing when she advised us to let nothing come between us and Jesus. Let nothing get, come between you and his love, ever. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely, the flock entrusted to them by the good shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world that it may truly know the peace given by Christ, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah, I pray. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take away from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah, I pray. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah, I pray. For all those in our community who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah, I pray. And for Richard, repose of the soul of Richard Brunson, may he rest <clears> in peace. And for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah, Lord. I pray. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name. By good and good of all this holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome a paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of his glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of the earth is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, Lamb of God, he can away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be on the hill.
blood of Christ. So God did. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine powers, thrust into hell, Satan and all good evil spirits, who wander through this world seeking to earn our souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name, Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, his angels and his saints.